Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Eden Zero episode number 21. All right, the previous episode, uh, we got like Shiki and Homura got transported into a uh, kind of a prison where they have to, you know, kind of mine stuff. And uh, as soon as the amount of stones mined reaches the desired amount, they'll be free. But uh there's a lot of ways to actually mine this it's like a, a very unique way like there's little like bugs which kind of carry on these minerals and stuff and yeah and uh after that we see how the whole place is kind of uh like you know the warden of the place is kind of bullying the people and um like you know like uh, uh, uh kurenai uh miss kurenai that is uh she i don't think she cares you know about the whatever that's happening here and the people are actually taking things too far. Homura gets, gets captured and um, like that was that. And then there's this whole scene with uh, Labilia and um, Rebecca, where Labilia basically like, uh, like, you know, bratty child uh, kind of like, you know, pranks her and like laughs like a complete, uh, you know, like douchebag. And then like goes on her own way without even telling what she was supposed to tell. You know the information about the whole um like where how to go in the prison and whatever but another a person and another person another you uh bq uh who was named nino i think uh he helped rebecca and rebecca can i'm guessing now the rebecca and happy will probably go and try to find um shiki but at the same time shiki is now in the oh we also saw Kure, miss kurenai's sadistic streak in a way you know the way she and the way she's like haughty and everything and she wants the eden zero's ether drive stuff like that she wants to backstab Drak and joe all that stuff and by the end we see shiki actually uh, coming to save homura and uh, yeah a fight is going to begin so let's see uh, like you know i'm quite looking forward to that without further ado let's get started this is episode number 21 of eden zero I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, they're giving us the recap here, alright. <clears throat> Stones. Hmm. Yeah, the God. Typical villainous face this guy has. Oh boy. Ugh. Hmm. Oh yeah, she couldn't use her um, ether drive. <laughs> I don't give a damn. Yeah. All right. Okay, one thing I kind of, I, I think I did not notice that in the previous episode, the thing that Shiki actually says, she sa he says that I don't care, you know, I only care about my friends and that's what I'm going to focus on. I did not properly actually uh, like think about this. Now that I'm watching this the section in the um, recap, like I realized that, that like the thing that he says like she's as she says he says that i'm not a hero of justice i don't know i just want my friends to be okay so like i did not realize that in the previous episode that that's actually what he said so yeah like that's 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 a better what can i say mm, like a better mm, thought process like unlike some people saying that yeah i will save everyone and in that process of being unable to save anyone but like obviously like, like there are a lot of people like you cannot save everyone so like 
the most basic thing is you should keep, keep a better like you know a, a close eye on your friends the small amount of people who are actually close to you that maybe makes me sound like a i don't know bad person but like yeah one person can do only a certain amount of things so like you know it is impossible to save everyone all right reset okay Oh my god, this this thing moves on its own. Well, that's not jumping, that's gravity power. <laughs> so does Shiki. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is that it? Is that it? This was all that was about for this guy? Wow. Wow. Like the goal to actually... The goal to actually try to do something. This guy. Oh. Yeah, I also did not know that. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay, open it. He might pop out. Uh. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so she really is here. Okay, he says was. Hmm. Oh, okay. How did he know? Yeah. Fist of Heaven. Insight then. Oh. Oh boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, anime. Oh. Oh, that's why. Okay. Boy. Hmm. Ether drive. Oh no! Wait, is he like... Ah, oh, great. Ah. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, I thought he was like back, going to backstab her or something. All right. Yeah, no need to tell that to him. What? Wow, the cameos in this <laughs> in these in this show. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Okay. Hmm. He's keeping an eye on everyone. This is the guy, the minor guy with the owl. Yeah. Oh.
What? Is it like telling her to follow? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't have any leads, so... Damn, everything's like... Quiet. Oh! What the? <laughs> Quite an entrance. <laughs> That's an advanced meditation. <laughs> Whoa! Is that Kazuma? <laughs> Okay. Steel? Oh, this is Kazuma. He's been asekied into... Hidden Zero. Alright. <laughs> oh, that's why. Right. Okay, makes sense. What? Oh my god, is this what I... This is Kazuma, wow! It's Kazuma! <laughs> Kazuma strikes again, oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's Flappy. Yeah, he said some... Well, that's a... Disciple. Oh. So why did Valkyrie get captured here? Oh no. Oh my god, this must be... Wait, what? A B cube. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, right. Oh, no. Uh, he's still yapping about. Oh God. Ah, uh, this guy's just. Oculus Kernix function. Ah. Uh. He just has some fancy toys, that's just him. Lord of the... Or maybe they can be the first one, people, you know? <laughs> yeah, true. What is that? The hell is... Huh. All right. 
Whoa, who the hell is this? Ah, Baku. Meeting. Oh, must be because of the Eden Zero. <laughs> Boy. All right. Okay, I'm guessing this is a. Uh... No, don't no need to worry, Shiki. This is that thing that we saw in the previous episode. Like, uh, what is this thing? Hmm. Oh, it's like a dragon. Whoa. Where is its face? Well, it's not a bug, so... <laughs> Cat! <laughs> what type of cat is that? <laughs> Alright. Who knows? Hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, oh my God. Yeah, this will be a bit difficult. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. It's like scales. Whoa. Oh no! Oh boy. <laughs> the burst, yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh! Wait, who's this? Is this, is this Rebecca? No. Alright. Yeah, it is Rebecca. Okay, he recognized her, I think. Nah! <laughs> Okay, that's what it was telling him. Mm, yeah, true. We need more preparation. No, not that! <laughs> Alright. Maybe you changed your mind now? Lord of the Mines. Black Rock. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, she can do whatever the hell she wants. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Oh, no. Wait. Yeah, it's broken. Okay. Okay. Oh no, what's happening to her? Oh, she's analyzing. Okay.
Oh. Oh yeah, she can. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Hopefully it works. Um Oh, there you go. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's oh my god, she's not <laughs> Okay, was that enough? Gravity center Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. There you go. <laughs> this guy's like, what the hell am I witnessing? <laughs> Okay. Uh, Miss Ko and I will be like, oh my god, like I suddenly got a large shipment of metals. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's going down. Wait, does that happen to everyone? I'm guessing. All right. Reset. Oh no! Wow, these people! How the... Wow, this, this woman is nasty. Great. Well, time to go and... <laughs> oh no. Wait, what? <laughs> wow, this guy has skills. All right. Hmm. Okay, that's a B cube, isn't it? Yeah. Oh god, this guy. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait. Oh, damn. What? Oh, that's the th oh my god, look at that. Like a just ready to fire off some kind of beam to Oh lord. Yeah, this Skurana is <laughs> she's evil, like like I've said this before, like there are differences between enemies where there are actual enemies who does something because of their own reasons and convictions and because of something they think that's right. And there are also like enemies who are like pure evil. Uh, she's one of them, I think. I don't know. Otherwise, it, it doesn't really explain the way she's doing stuff. 
like she has no intention of letting the people go even if they reach the desired amount of stones and she's like selfishly imposing her own version of justice and she doesn't care what happens in the labor district where like you know like the wardens are basically bullying the people and like and all the other things she's doing like she's violent she's cruel sadistic yeah Okay, so the, the scene in the ending song kind of makes sense now. The B cube that the person is holding. It's the same B cube. Alright. Okay, so... This episode here. Um, the guy, uh, I think that Garrett was his name. Yeah. He, obviously, like, he himself is not that strong, I think. You know, like, by looking at their, the way of fighting um she like you know he basically like hiding behind the uh toys that he's using you know the whip the other thing like you know like uh, uh just because like they have them under their control he is abusing it and doing whatever the hell the hell he wants to otherwise shiki and homura would have all easily been able to like you know defeat him and get out of that there and uh, the the uh, enemies here i don't know i might be wrong though you know like they don't really seem that strong i don't know like i might be like wrong completely like uh, like you know like maybe we'll see in the future that they are really have some kind of hidden skills or something because like i'm under like i'm kind of coming under that impression because the people here are basically all using uh stuff which has been pre-programmed for example Garrett, he basically has a whip which stuns people, you know, um, like, and then, like, you know, he knows the trick how to make not people use their ether gear. He has the people wearing the collar, which kind of makes it so that they cannot defy them ever. And using these type of, you know, tricks, he is imposing his authority on these people and like un unjustfully uh, oh, like, bullying them. So I don't know. Like you know, it seems like he at least he doesn't seem that strong. I'm not sure about Kurenai herself and the other people. The um the other other thing that like the the line. What was that? Forgot his name. Uh, he looks like a lion. I don't know. <laughs> you know that guy and uh, Nino. I'm not sure about them whether they are strong or not. But Garrett doesn't seem that much of a problem. But we'll see. And okay, so Shiki comes in. Uh, it's a very easy match. Not the easiest. Like, he just jumps up and punches him. <laughs> kind of dodges a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's it. Garrett is down. And then we get to Nino, where uh, there was a portion where I was kind of thinking, and oh my god, is he like going to bring her to Kurenai and like, you know, that's how she, he's going to backstab her or something, uh, Rebecca? But like, you know, it's kind of like a way to throw us off, <laughs> where basically in the end he says that, oh, I was just like, you know, so um, enamored by your uh, Maho Shoujo cosplay that I. <laughs> <laughs> I, I brought you over, like, you know, I'm, I'm showing you the way. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, and we got a little cameo of Angel, you know. Uh, so, <laughs> oh boy. Okay, and then we get to the labor district. Rebecca comes in. We meet Flappy and the guy. His, I think, what was his name? Paul, I think. Yeah, very easy name. And... <laughs> He's basically Kazuma from Konosuba. <laughs> Just steals. <laughs> oh my god, wow, that was hilarious. And um, <laughs> yeah, like, okay, one thing I'm sure a lot of people, I don't know, like, you know, might get a little bit, um, 
kind of confused here as to why did he not use his power at the beginning you know uh, but oh no wait a minute oh yeah okay um yeah a few people might think but he himself explained it like you know like why he himself did not run out of that place and why was he still here he was waiting for them and to like you know come here or something like that and <clears throat> after seeing that these people like like shiki's crew and he also saw homura are the actual like you know real people who can actually stand up for themselves and against this injustice i think you know and uh, after meeting homura he like helped them with the collars and uh, now one thing he kind of said before uh, they started fighting the, the 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 beast the big beast he said something like let's get out of here and i'm guessing he probably would have taken them out of that place and then he would he would have said something like uh, i can take the collars off you because i have this power he would have probably done this but because like you know home like we did not know at that moment that he can do something like that even you know uh like homura basically like you know like said that okay no i can't go there because i'll have to fight i'll have to win this i want to uh you know find home uh valkyrie so yeah, like either way, he would have probably taken off that collar himself. But it was uh, like, you know, you know, now one thing I'm kind of curious about that the thing that he said there, like uh, when Homura said something like, I'll defeat this beast and like, you know, unlock my collar. He said something like, uh, you wouldn't say that if you realize what, like, you know, what uh, Madam Kurenai is actually doing. So... I wonder if that is somehow related to the oculus, the Kuranai oculus, you know, maybe these metals are the things, uh, like, you know, the things that are actually like powering it up or something, or, or maybe something else, maybe it's doing something, the metals are actually doing something, helping Kuranai to actually do some evil deeds or something. So that's why most probably uh, Paul said something like that, that you wouldn't say that if you realized what he, she's actually doing. But again, like the thing that she said and the thing that again Homura also kind of in a different way repeated that that I don't care you know I don't it, it may like you know they may, may seem like a cruel like you know may seem cruel and like you know I don't know uh, what can I say like not kind by like, you know this type of a statement that yeah I don't care what happens to other people but that's the most realistic sense here the uh, way that they can do this because otherwise like obviously like they cannot save each and every people here like there's a lot of people and the only thing that they can do is keep the people that they love and they like you know like consider as close only help them that's the extent a person can go to like you know shiki is no hero neither is homura they they they're not here to save humanity or something like that they don't have such noble goals they they're just normal people, well, not normal, but you know, like they're just people who are, who have some friends and when they are at a pinch, they'll definitely help them. And now there's an, obviously an, another like aspect here, like if someone comes and asks them for help, or if they have the capability of actually helping someone, obviously they're going to do that. They're, they're not hard, heartless. But the, the, the far-fetched like ambition, like saving each and every person, you know whoever like you know i come across is not something that like they are capable of doing they're neither gods nor, nor, nor heroes so yeah it, it makes sense and like you know like obviously shiki himself is kind of <laughs> the, the kid of a of, of the demon lord so <laughs> like you know like that's another like you know ironic thing that you know like he like he said that yeah i'm no hero <laughs> i'm the demon <laughs> I'm, I'm the demon lord or something like that so but anyways so yeah that's basically what's it like homura homura's like you know like homura's also of the same opinion and i'm sure everyone is of the same opinion that like we cannot save everyone so the only thing that we can do is try to help the people who are close to us and that's the more realistic way of thinking anyways okay and then we <clears throat> defeat the the thing the the beast the big beast 
And I'm guessing uh, they were easily able to defeat it because of Pino here. Because Pino analyzed it. Other, and I'm sure like, you know, a lot of people might, must have tried to actually defeat it and failed. Most probably because they, they did not know about the weak point or something. Because if they knew the weak point, I'm sure they could have defeated it, you know. You know, because they could have just... I don't know, like a few amount of people could have lured the beast to somewhere else. There will be some people at a higher, you know, uh, position. They can just use their ether. Oh, maybe they didn't have any ether. Mm. Yeah, that might also be another reason. They did not have any ether, you know, gear to use. So, but anyways, like they could have, like, you know, done something if they knew that the weak point is there. They could have at least attempted it. So, I'm guessing no one knew about that. And they were able to, like, you know, like, do it most probably because Pino was there to analyze it. And uh, yeah, now this kind of like, you know, like it's like an off topic thing, but it's like uh, kind of related where like, the, the thing kind of looked like a dragon. And there's usually, uh, I think um, there's a, what do you call it? Um, le not legend, but uh, uh, what can I say? Like it is said that dragons actually, like, obviously they have scales, have a, reverse scale somewhere in their body which is like the weak point of that dragon like if you can hit the reverse scale you can greatly damage a dragon like you know dragons are very strong and very like you know have a lot of defensive power because of their scales but that one reverse scale is the thing where you need to hit to actually damage it it was kind of like that you know because this thing kind of reminded us of a dragon with the dragon scales and stuff and it was not just one reverse scale here it was just like a patch of uh, scales which were like the uh, weakness and they like hit it and were able to easily defeat the beast in a matter of seconds and after you know kind of, they kind of weakened it Shiki <laughs> uh, used his gravity power to actually <laughs> completely like you know uh, upturn it and um, uh, Homura Homura just went through it using her sword technique yeah they won now as i said like i think most probably the all the uh, stones that all the minerals that they're gathering goes to uh powering up the kurenai oculus or something like that uh, i might be wrong but it kind of seems like that so yeah all right, and uh, we get to see a uh, B cube, which obviously we have been quite familiar with from the ending song. Uh, the B cube, which probably has something related to Valkyrie. Now, the way that they are talking here, uh, it seems as if Valkyrie is not here anymore. But uh, but we saw Valkyrie in like a flashback, didn't we? Like uh, where the Paul kind of said something like, mm, "What like." Uh, they're here and he was kind of talking to someone and then we see like Valkyrie kind of sitting in a way we only saw the close-up of her face just kind of smiling or something and so what so does that mean like she went like how like then like I doubt she like went away from here you know because we saw that scene when uh, Shiki and Homura got sent to the labor district so it was not that much of a time but they're talking as if she's not here anymore. Like, for example, even um, Garrett, she's, he said something like, he, he was like, you know, referring to Valkyrie in past sense. Tense. Like, he knew her, but it, it's, it seems as if she's not here anymore. So, I don't know what does that mean. Oh, maybe Garrett doesn't actually realize that Valkyrie's here anymore. Maybe, like, Valkyrie's at hiding or something. You know and Garrett thinks that Valkyrie is not here anymore he she, she has gone away but she's actually here like you know in the shadows or something uh, who knows maybe like he she's just here to uh, you know Valkyrie is here to actually uh, like, hit the weak point of this thing and like actually defeat Kurenai or something yeah that that kind of probably it probably would have would go that in that direction I don't know like I might be completely wrong though but yeah that seems like a viable way the story can proceed <clears throat> and anyways um so yeah like i'm guessing like either they like you know paul is not telling the whole truth 
that Valkyrie is here or maybe there is something else maybe Valkyrie really is not here anymore. maybe she just went away after that and uh, yeah there's a lot of questions here like another question kind of pops out that why was Valkyrie here in the first place you no know? like was she like <clears throat> captured by some uh un you know, bad means like, like you know some unjustified means just like uh, Shiki and Homura got captured or maybe it was something else yeah, I'm thinking too much into this. I'm sure everything will be it will come to light in the next episode where we're probably going to see what is in the B cube. But yeah, I'll just wait for it. <laughs> okay. And uh, what else? <clears throat> okay, and then in the next scene we see uh Kurenai. Okay, her new plan here is okay just a sec i'm furious right now valkyrie's followers i heard that they're plotting another uprising i found another source of revenue okay okay i like she's basically saying that because valkyrie's followers so i'm guessing like she actually knew that there are people uh, in the labor district who are like you know working with Valkyrie to actually uh, rebel against them or something he was aware of that and obviously because with all of the <coughs> you know spying uh, methods that they can keep an eye on them and keep, you know hear them I'm guessing it's quite easy to keep an eye out for them whether they're thinking about some rebellion or something and uh, so she says that I have found a different revenue source which I'm guessing is the ether drive you know Eden Zeros and Draken Joe so she's so confident she thinks that yeah she like she obviously get that for herself so huh, can't wait to see her dreams crush into <laughs> crush down into bits because obviously I doubt she'll be able to take the ether drive um, because a lot of people are there like you know like which is there uh, no sister is there Hermit is there. Wise is also there. Who else is in the ship? Ah, these these are the few people. Oh, and the captain is also there. I forgot about him for a second. So yeah, like I don't think that's going to happen. But yeah, let's just wait for it. And um, <clears throat> so okay, so she basically says that we found a new revenue uh, source. So just like destroy the labor district using the oculus kurenai and <clears throat> it's basically the oculus kurenai is basically a satellite in a way it seems like that on top hovering on top of the planet and it's like i'm guessing it's like focused on the labor district and it's going to shoot some kind of beam or something to destroy that place so yeah like i wonder what's going to happen in the next episode oh boy Okay, is there something anything else that I missed? Let's see. Okay. Alright, I think that was it. Yeah. Nothing else I can see. So the next episode, uh a few things are probably going to happen. Number one, we're probably going to see what is up with that. Mm, B cube. Another thing uh, which we are going to probably see is what will happen to the labor district. These two are the main things that will probably happen in the next episode. So yeah, let's wait for it. And I'm quite curious as to what the B cube actually holds. Like I'm wondering, like what does that have some kind of message from Valkyrie or you know, like it's a B cube. So I'm guessing it has some kind of video or audio file. So yeah, it must be something like that. So yeah like let's just uh wait for the next episode so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction excuse me that was my reaction to eden zero episode number 21 so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of eden zero so until then goodbye and have a nice day.